Whippa, how are you guys doing? Are you guys are doing great today? As you can notice, there's something different in my face. I cut my hair and I shaved a little bit. So I look, I think I look good, right? Yes. This haircut was made by my gorgeous wife. Whippa, how are you guys doing? Are you guys are doing great today? As you can see, I know, I look different. What is different about me? Hmm, I don't know. You tell me, what do I have different in my face? Ah, that's correct. I cut my hair and I shaved a little bit my beard. I hope it looks good. So, I look cleaner, right? Much better now. Yes. Let's continue with the class. Today is Tuesday, May 19, 2020. Today on math, you're going to draw nine coins to make 45 cents. And then you're going to solve a money word problem. The same thing that we did yesterday, but with different numbers. We need to remember the word savings. Savings means ahorrar. Because that word, we're going to listen it today again on the word problem. So when you're saving, tú estás guardando dinero. You're saving, estás ahorrando. That means that you are adding. Because when you save money here and you save money here, you're grabbing money and you're adding money. That's what we're doing today with the word problem, okay? Let's continue with the class. Boop. The vocabulary words that we learned yesterday are money, dinero, Dollar, dollar, cent, centavos, coin, monedas, value, valor. And then we learn penny. Y tenemos aquí el penny. Cuando lo dibujamos, le hacemos un puntito arriba porque esto significa un centavos, one cent. Then we have the nickel. The nickel has one hair equals five cents. The dime has two hairs equals 10 cents. And the quarter has one, two, three, four, five hairs and it equals 25 cents. We need to remember that each hair equals five cents. Cada pelo que yo dibuje vale cinco centavos. Right now we're going to practice the one that we did yesterday. Yesterday you had to draw eight coins to make 38 cents. If we draw the coins, Let's see how it goes. I have one dime, and then one dime makes one, two hairs, equals 10 cents. Then I have another dime, one, two, this equal 20 cents. Hmm, let's see. Um, I'm going to add now a nickel. One nickel, this means this is 25, that's 10, 25, 20, 25, then we have 10, 20, 25. Let's add another nickel. So we have 10, 20, 25, 30 cents, 30 cents. We have one, two, three, four. Hmm, I need eight coins, I have four coins. Let's add another nickel. And now we have 35 cents. So we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. Let's add another nickel. Now we have 40 cents. Oh, uh oh, I cannot use this one because it's 38 cents. Esto es mucho, me pasé. So let's do pennies. We have one penny. This is 36. Another penny. 37 and another penny. 38. And let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have the eight coins and, and it makes. Let's count the hairs. Five, 10, 20, sorry, again. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. And I have the 38 cents. You're going to do the same thing, but this time you're doing with these numbers. So you're going to draw nine coins to make 45 cents. Remember, nine coins to make 45 cents. Vas a dibujar nueve monedas y que esas nueve monedas hagan 45 centavos. 
No pueden ser seis monedas, no pueden ser tres monedas, no pueden ser diez monedas. Tienes que dibujarme nueve monedas, así que tienes que sumar y restar, quitar monedas, poner monedas para ver que te haga sentido. Tiene que ser nueve monedas solamente. Here it says, Jamie, so we have, we're talking about Jamie, saves. Remember the word saves means ahorrar, que está guardando dinero. Saves his birthday money from his birthday each year. Last year, so last year, el año pasado, cuando estaba en primer grado, when he was in first grade, he got $43 for his birthday, B-Day, birthday. This year, he got $38. The question is, how much money did he save? So, we're talking here right now that Jamie saved $43 last year, and this year he saved $38. So, in first grade, he saved $43. In second grade, $38. When we're saving, we need to think about this. How much money did he save? So we're trying to find how much money. Hay que juntar estos dos números. So we have $43 plus $38. And we need to find this answer. Let's do the part, part, whole. So we have part, part, whole. So let's do that and practice with the strip diagram. So we have, let's draw here, whoop, our big part, part hole, right here. So we need to find how much money Jamie has now. And we need to divide the part, part hole, the strip diagram. And we have $43 and $38. Remember the poem, if you need a hole, you just add. If you need a part, you just subtract. What do we need? Tell me, what do we need? We need a hole. So we're going to add. So we're adding 43 plus $38. And this is just like, you know, the HTO. So I'm going to draw the line in the middle. And I'm going to add 3 plus 8 and 4 plus 3. But we need to be careful. So I'm going to do the, let's see. I'm going to do the base 10 block. Let's try it is. So we have 43. I have 1, 2, 3, 4 tens and 3 ones. 1, 2, 3. Then I have 38. 1, 2, 3 and 8 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now I'm going to add with the base 10 block. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <gasps> 10. So remember this. I have right here, I have 10. So I need, if you have 10 or more, put the extra next door. So I need to put this 10 on the next door. So I have to put one here and I have one once by itself. So 3 plus 8 equals 11, but I need to put the extra next door, so I have 1 and 1 here. 1 tenths and 1 ones. Todo esto que circule is 1 ten. It's the extra 10. Let me do it with a different color. It's the extra 10. So all of this, what I circle here, is an extra tens place. Now, we're going to add the tens. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1 plus 4 equals 5. 6, 7, 8. 5 plus 3 equals 8. So Jamie has $81 saved. This is the word problem. You're doing the same word problem with the part, part, whole. And I want you to do me a strategy. It could be based in block or expanded form strategy, whichever you prefer. But you're going to do the strategy with this word problem. Jamie saved his birthday money each year. Last year he got, 
$27 for his birthday. This year he got $34. How much money did he save? So this is the word you're going to do today. Just like the one that I did earlier, you're doing the same thing with this word problem. I hope, I hope to see your work, work hard, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.